The tragic end to Sunday's private plane crash is only compounded with the details of the victims who died. The owners of the plane, John and Barbara Rumpel of Florida, tell NBC News they had adopted 49-year-old Adina Azaria when she was 40 because she reminded them of another daughter they'd lost in a scuba accident. Azaria was headed home to New York with her two-year-old child, Aria, and their nanny, Edvondney Smith. The question, why did the pilot, Jeff Hefner, fail to respond to air traffic controllers within 15 minutes of departing, then fly for two hours, presumably on autopilot? The F-16 fighter jets that intercepted Hefner's plane could see he was slumped over and unresponsive. Did he suffer a medical emergency? Was he rendered unconscious due to a sudden loss of cabin pressure? And were his passengers also incapacitated? No one radioed a mayday call, and the fighter pilots reported the passenger window shades were down. Hefner was a retired Southwest Airlines captain. I knew him personally. NBC News aviation analyst John Cox says Hefner should have received a cockpit warning if the cabin was losing pressure. At 14,000 feet, you will automatically get the deployment of oxygen mask. Without oxygen, hypoxia can quickly set in, headaches and nausea, trouble concentrating, then loss of consciousness. For a second day, investigators today have been inspecting and documenting the crash scene in a remote and rugged Virginia forest. The airplane, pilot qualifications, maintenance records, basically everything is on the table. Investigators plan to use a helicopter to remove the wreckage within a few days. Lester? All right, Tom Costello, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.